Sometimes the talk adds up. Shucks, I can catch me a criminal quicker just walking down Main Street and listening than I can with a pack of bloodhounds. Learned a thing or two already this morning, Daniel. Know the little man in black got off the 1010 the other day? Bank examiner. Seems young Sykes helped himself to around $2,000 out of Pappy's cash box. Doggone. <laughs> that Williams boy, the band leader. Folks say Jerry Sykes owed him quite a bit of money. Quite a bit. What's buzzing, cousin? Everything hot in the slot? Stash that and dig another. It's only a blip. Hey, Elmer. Be right with you. Clear track four. Come on, Bob. I got a blow. That Ken Williams. Where's a college boy badly to latch on to all that lettuce he waves around? Hey, Elmer, let's go. Come in, Mother. Must be those stud games out of Brother's Pond. He sure don't make it waving no sticks. You ever play cards in the back room at Brother's Pond, Daniel? No. Uh, Ken asked me to a game Saturday night, but I ain't got that kind of money. No, well, I guess you haven't. Williams leave the bandstand any time during the dance. Yeah. Yeah, there's ten minute breaks between dances. Mm-hmm. Guess I'll have to ask Williams a few questions. Heck, I promised to take my wife to the fair tonight, too. Sure hate to miss that fair. Can't be in two places at once. Yeah, I learned a thing or two this morning, Daniel. The county fair, your own county fair, presents for the first time the Syrian enchantresses direct from the forests of Lebanon. The show starts in just a moment. He sells the tickets. They're only a dime, ten cents, two thick pickles, a tenth part of a dollar. And on the inside, they unveil the most artistic, stupendous, and blood-steering pants ever seen. So, Hattie, 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 get your tickets and don't shove, don't pound. After all, the show starts inside. So, Hattie, 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 it only costs you a dime. Don't crowd, don't I, uh, shove, don't push us. I don't think the school board would approve my blood everybody. being stirred. So buy your tickets one little teeny bitsy dime, ten cents, ten part of a dollar, and see the greatest show on air. The show starts immediately on the inside. He sells the tickets. It only costs you a dime, ten cents, two thick nickels, a tenth part of a dollar. And on the inside, they will unveil the most artistic... Who's girl? ...blood-steering dance ever seen by man. There you are, folks. <laughs> Just had a brief hey, glimpse Yankee. of what goes on on the inside. A brief glimpse of the secret dances seen by desert sheiks behind the <laughs> I can't get over it. What? You and I and, and all these people. But well, why not? They can't keep us a secret forever. <laughs> oh. Why was I afraid? Why were we afraid all this time? Buy me a sponge sugar. Gilly. What, Dan? Just Gilly. It's a nice name. I'm glad we came. Gilly. Buy me a sponge sugar. Take your pick, anyone you want. Six toys. Would a penny be enough? Hmm? Would it? Oh. I was just wondering. What? I was wondering who could have hated Jerry enough to kill him. Folks say it was Ken Williams that uh, picked him up today. I know. The sheriff asked me a lot of questions. Danny Hawkins! <laughs> right lucky I saw you. Been looking all over to tell you something before I forget it. Uh-oh, forgot it. Oh, no, that knife of yours. Uh, Billy's scripture was out in the back of my store whittling with it this evening. Just because Billy found a knife don't mean it's mine. Oh, it couldn't be anybody else's. They had but two of that kind of knife in the first place. 
Well, I got to get over at the jam contest. Betty Simpkins is waiting for me, and I got to rescue the sheriff from his wife, Martha. Sheriff, he ain't here. Sure is, but he ain't happy about it. The sheriff's with, with Williams, they... Uh-uh. Let Williams off scot-free about an hour ago, and Martha's fit to be tied. Says the whole town will think he's off his head. Of course, I got my own ideas about what happened. Well, I gotta be gone. I wish they had that cinnamon bar here this year. That knife's yours, all right. Billy must have found it when you was out hunting. Good night. And try your skill. Six balls for a quarter. Six balls to try and spill the milk. What kind of questions did the sheriff ask you? We asked about everybody. Asked whether you had ever shown a grudge against Jerry. If you please, folks. Either step up and take a chance or uh, don't block the way for them as they'd like to, huh? Hey, you look like you got a pretty good arm there, fella. Why not take a chance and win the young lady a prize? Okay, pal, six balls for a quarter. Here we go. Take a box of candy home to your mother. What'd you tell him? I told him I didn't know you very well. One down and five to go. That's true, I don't. Did you have a grudge against Jerry? Ah, oh, a baseball player, eh? Change the subject. I don't like to talk about Sherry. Watch the young man prove how easy it is to do it. I know. All right. We'll be next now. Six balls for a quarter. Forget it, my arm's sore. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute, your prize. Hey, your box of candy. You're pushing people, Dan. Let's get on a ride. Six, please. Now, don't crowd out. We'll all get on. Yes. How old are you? How old? Four. Out of here, where are you going? Clem, Otis, it's disgusting. That's what it is. Releasing that cold-blooded killer. One of the finest boys in this town has been murdered. Sure is remarkable how Diane can make a saint of a man. Dan. Go ahead. Grab a seat. Two, please. Well, she sure didn't wait long to tie up with another boy. Martha. Martha. Who's Gilly Johnson tied up with? Heaven's sake, Clem, with Jesse Hawkins' nephew. It's been thick as fleas ever since Jerry disappeared. Now there's something to figure. Dan, why do you always get angry so suddenly? I'm not angry. Gilly, look up. It's like you're floating. Gilly? trying to tell me something. What? When the sheriff was talking to me, he said something about your father and how Jerry and the others had always used it against you. Is that why you keep hitting out at people? Trying to get even? I had it pretty tough. After I was born, Ma... Ma took sick at night. Doctor said it was too far to come. It wasn't serious. Gave Pa a bottle of pills. 
She died the next day. Pa carried me to Grandma's cabin, came into the town. Shot the doctor. Shot him dead. Took three bullets to kill him. Took them three weeks to hang Pa. Have you been back in the hills to see your grandmammy lately? Not lately. Pretty old lady, isn't she? I'll go see her one of these days. Mighty peaceful there, up Chinamook Way. I have a feeling for mountains. Daylight coming in the morning. Hangman waiting on the stone. From the yellow pit waiting for my bone. What you singing? A story, Daniel. A blue story. Don't send me flowers. Don't send me mail. For You're saying something. All stories say something. You're saying it to me. Just talking. Talking to Mr. Gitter. You're talking to me, but you won't speak it plain. Daylight coming in the morning. Hangman waiting on the stone. How long you known? Since coon hunt night. How? I never saw you kick a dog before. Lonesome. Lonesome. You gonna tell? No. I figure I'll let you do the telling. You have to tell someone, Daniel. You have to. Or else you'll go on killing a dead man over and over. And you can't.